That's the last of them. You tell me. Nothing show up on my end. Your exit's to the left, three doors down. Why did L send me on this one? Not this again. Come on! You and I both know I would have been better on the Bombay job. Instead, I'm sent out for cleaning duty. It all works in mysterious ways. <laughs> that really doesn't comfort me. I've got something. They seem to know their buddies aren't doing the regular patrol. You got something coming up. On your right. Shit! Gonna need a different exit. Down the stairs. There's an emergency door that leads to the street. Matthew! Relax! I've got this! Gonna need your car. Out! L is gonna be pleased about that. Well, L can learn about disappointment. I've got a clean car for you in the three clicks. Silver, keys and ammunition. Good. I'll make my way to base after I make sure they're not trailing me. Do you need any medical assistance? Oh, please, Jason. Don't tell me you forgot who you're working with. Car on your left. Oh, Jesus! Came out of nowhere. Ditch the car. See you back at HQ. Okay. Silver, silver, let's see. Bingo! And we're good. Huh. Hey, love! <laughs> yeah, work's running late. You know how strict Jason can be. Always gotta make sure the paperwork is perfect. I should be there in an hour or so. I wouldn't forget date night. I told you. I'm gonna make us more of a priority. I know. But I do mean it. And until you believe my words, you'll just have to believe my actions. I've missed you too. So much. Look. <laughs> I've been thinking. Once this latest thing wraps up at work we can go on a vacation rent that little beach house we like yeah that one we can just walk on the beach and you can make some of those fruity drinks I like <laughs> yeah with the tiny umbrellas and extra cherries I promise as soon as I get this latest project squared away we'll go Hey, Sunflower. Oh, come on. It is a cute nickname. You love it. <laughs> yes, you do. You say you don't, but whenever I call you anything else, you always give me that death glare. Anyways, Sunflower, I'm getting ready to get back into the office. I love you. I'll see you tonight. Yeah. Reservations at 8. I'll be there. Bye, Sunflower. Welcome back, Matthew. Any loose ends? All quiet so far. Good. I need to get moving. L wants a debrief. Why? It's L. You don't question L. Can't you do this? I'll ask you by name. Shit. Okay. Listen, come and bail me out in ten minutes. L would kill me. Yeah, well, I'll kill you if you don't. And people wonder why we're friends. L's in the front costumes hall. Ten minutes. Not one minute more. Aye, aye, Captain. Have fun. You asked to see me? Agent, how do things go? Fine. Elaborate. I went in and cleared the building and got out. Clean. It wasn't, though. I was told you got spotted. I handled it, L. You better have. If that's all... It's not. Sit down. I'd rather stand. I've been told you're seeing someone. My personal life is agency business now? You haven't brought them to be vetted. That's because they don't know. You're joking. No! What the hell are you doing? 
dating a civilian. There's nothing that forbids it in the regulations because it's fucking common sense. What are your revolvers to plant? Trying to get your secrets. They're not. And how do you know that? There's a reason why people are vetted. Why romantic relationships are discouraged. My partner is just a civilian. No harm, no foul. How long do you plan to keep this straight up? Come again? You haven't told the truth. How long do you plan on keeping up this lie? Then what? That'll be my problem to deal with. Not the agencies. This debrief is over. You're playing with fire, agent. Careful your lover doesn't get burned. Wow. Two minutes. That's a record. I'm not to be disturbed tonight. Elle is turning an impressive shade of red, you know. What on earth did you say? He went after Sunflower. Well, shit. I'm sorry. Didn't know. It's okay. It's Elle. He would have figured it out sooner than later. You want me to... I got it. Just give me the night off, okay? Shit. I'm gonna be late. Go. I'll cover for you. I am so sorry. I know. I really tried to get out of the office, but things came up and... I get it. You're right. It's no excuse. I'm sorry. I know you're mad at me right now, but did you still want to get dinner? You can order champagne and the caviar since it'll be my treat. <laughs> Good. I'm glad that I can get a smile out of you still. I miss you too. Truly. How was your day? You're joking. Preschoolers are that ruthless. <laughs> Jesus. I need to give you a medal or something, Sunflower. Your chair, my lady. Well, I do try to impress. So what's good here? Oh. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Hey, did you order drinks? Great. Thanks. Cheers. I don't know. To you surviving another day of teaching preschool. Sounds like a worthy reason to drink to me. So, what are you going to order? <laughs> I'm going to order everything. I am being serious. If you can't decide, we'll just order everything and try a bit. <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to show off. I was just... Okay. Maybe I was trying to impress you a little bit. Did it work? <laughs> Ouch. So cruel. I was thinking about the pot roast. So, you can you can share mine. If you, if you want. Perfect. See? Things always work at- <sighs> Sorry. I thought I had that silence. Anyways, so after you prevented World War III with the toddlers, how did you- <sighs> Shit. I'm so sorry. I need to take this. Just give me a minute. You better have a good fucking reason for calling me. Are you with them? Right now? Yeah, but what? Listen to me carefully. Elle's going off the deep end. How? She thinks that your civilian is a threat. And you know what she does to threats. Shit! I need to- Listen to me. I've been locked out of the system. You need to stay off the grid. I'll find you when I can. Got it. Thanks. We need to go. Now. No, I wish it was. But I'm serious. Grab your purse. We have to go. Sunflower? Please. This way. Don't let go of my hand. I'll explain it in the car. I know it's not my car. Don't worry. I'll return it. 
Okay. Listen to me very closely, Sunflower. I work as an agent for a shady government organization that no one will ever admit that it's real. I was able to get this car because it's an agency car. We have them all over the city. Check the glove compartment. Yeah, guns. With the series numbers fired off so they can't be traced. It doesn't matter if you believe me right now. You're in danger. Because I shouldn't have got you involved. I tried to have two different lives. I thought I can keep you out of this, but I was wrong. Now my boss is trying to kill you to teach me a lesson. Yeah, L is fucked. But don't worry, I'm not going to let anything happen to you. Look, things are going to get a bit messy. I just need you to trust me. I'll make sure you get out of this in one piece. Do you know how to fire a gun? Time for a crash course lesson then. Here. Anyone comes near you, you pull the trigger. Do not hesitate. That will get you killed. Shit! Get down! How many are there? Two people or two cars. Okay, I can handle that. Take the wheel. Just keep driving. Do not look back. You can do this, Sunflower. My turn. Okay, let's go! Hey, Sunflower. Look at me. You're starting to freak out on me. I need you to keep it together for a little bit longer, okay? Breathe in, Sunflower. In... And out. Good. Just like that. There you are. Better? Good. Just keep focusing on your breathing. There's a safe house nearby. One of mine, off the grid. We gotta ditch the car though. This way. Step back. I know. It's okay. Just a bit longer, okay? Hold it together for just a bit. I'm just trying to cover our track. Over here. Yeah, it looks like a tree. But, ta-da! Secret base. Pretty cool, huh? Sunflower? Easy. Easy, I've got you. You're okay. It is okay. You're just having an adrenaline crash. Here. I've got you. The shaking will go away. Just breathe. Fuck, Sunflower. I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Were you expecting the back cave? <laughs> Sorry. The only tech I could afford is security. That elevator alone cost me way too much. Yeah, it looks like the cabin because that's my comp spot. It sounds cheesy, but if I have to be off the grid laying low, I want it to be in a good environment. Come here. You okay? I know. Stupid question. Let me try again. Are you hurt anywhere? Here. Sit down on the couch. Let me get a blanket. There. That should help with the shaking. I still don't like how pale you are though. Deeper breaths. Okay? Here, I lie against my chest. Do you hear my heartbeat? Good. It's slow. Steady. Focus on it. Breathe with it. Good, Sunflower. No. 
because I won't allow it. If L is going to try to kill you, he's going to have to go through me first. But don't think about that right now. You're safe. You're in my arms. Nothing is going to touch you. I promise. Shh. No, don't apologize. If you need to cry, cry. It's not every day you found out that your lover is a secret agent. <laughs> yeah, well, Hallmark doesn't exactly sell a card for it. I wanted to tell you. I, I just... I wanted to keep you out of this world. You are the only thing in my life that is pure. My hands are stained with blood. I've killed people. I do work that no one wants to do. That our government will never acknowledge. And I was okay with that. Because at the end of the day, I had you. Maybe I was playing pretend, I don't know. But with you, I could just be. You know me. Someone bad at playing checkers. Who sings off key to Metallica. He didn't need to know about the dark stuff. You were my light. After this is over, all over, you can curse my name or scream at me to never come near you again. But for now, I need you to stay put. I have to protect you. You don't understand. You say you do, but you can never. You're, you're being, you're being serious. Okay. Okay, Sunflower. All right. You win. I love you so fucking much. You're tired. There's a bed down the hall. You should rest there. I told you. Nothing's getting in. The agency doesn't know about this place. And the only person who does is someone I trust in my life. You're safe here. <laughs> well, that part was true. I do have a black belt, along with a lot of stuff. <laughs> Sunflower, you're tired. Come on, go get some rest. Okay, I'll stay with you until you fall asleep. And if you wake up and need me, I'm just... Right down the hall. Come on. It should be. The mattress has barely been used, and the pillows are super soft. They're very soft ones. I'm here. Shh. Sunflower. Close your eyes. Nothing will scare you. Not while I'm around.
Easy. They're asleep. Good. They may not want to hear about this. Now let's put this as priority one. Shit. Every available agent's been put along to kill you. Are they after you too? Ella can't touch me. As far as the agency knows, I'm halfway across the world eating ramen in Japan. Geo spoofing works wonders, you know. So, what options do we have? The whole agency's after you. I heard you. You're asking me for options when 300 agents are tasked to bring you in? So what? You're saying I just let them die? I'm not saying that. Al has the advantage for sure. If we had some leverage, maybe we could get somewhere. I can go to the press. And then the government will claim you're a crazy whack job. And they'll have tossed you in a padded room. Then what the hell do, am I supposed to do, Jason? You need to get L to call off the watchdogs. Sure. I'll just give him a call. Less sarcasm would be appreciated. Why would L agree to a deal with me? Because you have something he needs. That's the house from my last job. Turns out, L was cleaning house. These are some shady people he has on payroll. They're dead now. They can't help. But their files can. There's no way Al hasn't gone and seized their computers. You don't need the computers. All you need is get me in the cloud. And how do I do that? With this. A flash drive. A flash drive. It's no ordinary flash drive. You plug that in, make a remote access to everything. No physical terminate needed. And once L sees what you got on them, it's a simple exchange. Your lover for his papers. That might just work. You're welcome. Thank you. Seriously. Sunflower? Holy shit. That's one hell of a nosebleed. Sunflower! They're seizing. Did they drink something? At dinner, we both did. Where's your medkit? Under the counter. Hey, Sunflower. Hey, can you hear me? I'm here. I've got you. Just hang on for me, okay? Okay, hold them steady. What is that? A temporary solution. Sunflower. Hey, love. You with me? Well, this just got complicated. What the fuck was that? L's backup plan. Poison. Fuck. You couldn't have known. You have the antidote? No. All I know is how to delay it. L has the antidote. How long? 48 hours. Give or take. Shit. Go. I've got them. Go? I can't fucking go. Not with them. If you don't go, they'll die. Look, Matthew, I know how much they mean to you, but you can do nothing here. A, a hospital or, or something? As soon as they find an unknown toxin, they'll take them into isolation. Then it'll be too late. You need to go. I promise you, I'll look after them. God damn it. They'll come around. I'll give you a few minutes. Hey, Sunflower. Me. I'm fine. Just trying to get over the heart attack you gave me. <laughs> I'm fine. Really. Are you okay? Does your head hurt? Yeah, well, turns out someone spiked your drink. But you're gonna be okay. I'm gonna get you that antidote. No, you need to stay here. You've done enough badass stuff for one night, right? <laughs> uh, I know. You would be a natural agent. Way better than some of the rookies on the field. I know. You've got a little fever. Your body's just trying to fix things. You just rest here, and I'll be back before you know it. I love you too. More than anything. 
And when I get back, we can talk about where you want to go on vacation. Maui would be nice, though. <laughs> Matthew. I know. I'll be back, okay? You stay in there. You hear me? Don't go anywhere I can't follow. I've got you a non ancient vehicle to take. It's good with the standard gear. Thank you. For what's worth? I know. If anything happens. I know. Go. Okay. You hear me? Loud and clear. Just like any other mission, eh? Just like any other mission. T minus 48 hours. And counting. Be careful upon entry. I picked up on a few people there. Right. Back would be safer. I'll give you a roundabout detail about the access point. Understood. Maintaining radio silence. Oh, are you awake? Hi. I'm sorry. We've never met. I mean, I've heard a lot about you. Lots. Not just reading through your files. Files which you should definitely know about. Here, drink some water. Matthew will be back. I know he will be. Nothing seems to keep him down. Believe me, if you both tried. I don't think that's a good idea. You need the antidote within 48 hours. Any later than that, and if you will fry your brain. But in all honesty, you don't need to worry. I mean, that may not mean much coming from me. But I know your partner really well. It's just a normal day for them. You shouldn't set up. Easy here. You got some blood on your lips. It's a fast-acting toxin. That's all we know about it. Our boss probably got special authority to use it. Yeah, Mel really seems to hate you. You haven't pissed off some shady government organization before, have you? No? Well, what the shots? Me? Oh, I just monitor and help guide when I can. I don't do field work. You should lie down. If something comes up, I'll wake you. I promise. Seriously? Okay, yes. Pinky promise. Good. Now rest. I'm at the location. Looks dead. Probably a trap. Definitely a trap. How do you want me to handle this? Guess we'll find out. Be careful. Always am. No one's home. Then, quickly, get in and out. Well, why am I not surprised? Hey, Al. How stupid do you think I am? Honestly? Well, I've had enough of your annoying retorts. Stop this nonsense. Turn yourself in. And let you kill an innocent civilian? Um, yeah, no thanks. You really think it's about that? You poisoned them! You tell me! There are rules for a reason. You chose to defy them. There are consequences for that. And just like there are some for you. Isn't that why you sent me here in the first place, Elle? So clever. You figured it out. Come on. Elle. I'm sure we can come to some sort of a deal. I'm not in the mood to make deals with traitors. So what then? We're just gonna glare at each other and have a standoff? I'm thinking more of something like this. Bring them in, then burn this place down. L! Stop this! L! Don't do this! L! Well, shit. 
Oh, that's not good. Well, where do you think you're going? Uh, no. You can't do that because, in case you forgot, you're on death's door. Matthew would kill me if I let you do something like that. You have no training and no idea what you're walking into. And you're just going to ignore me. Look, the only reason you can move right now is because I inject you with a neutralizer. The effect's only temporary. Well, I mean, I guess I could. But once it wore off, you'd be in worse shape than you are now. Look, what are you planning on doing? This wouldn't be a rescue mission. Just a suicide mission. Okay. Alright. If you can do it anyways, I guess. Ah, he's gonna kill me for this. Let me look at your arm. Listen to me, this is only temporary. Once we're off, you're basically gonna go back to sitting duck. You have to get in and out before that, hear me? Here, it's an earpiece. I'll guide you. And take this too. Matthew will know how to use it. Are you sure about this? Okay then. Let's do this before I change my mind. Enough? Feeling talkative? <laughs> go fuck yourself. I really didn't want things to go down this road. You really are one of the best in the East Sea. I would prefer to send you back to training and put your head back on straight. But you stand on making things difficult. You're the one trying to murder people. Oh, come off your high horse. You work for a seeking government agency. How many people have you killed simply because you were told to? You think you're any better than me? You've lost it. I'll give you some time to think things over. Well, this is fucking fantastic. How long have I been in here? Jason? Your piece must be fried. Come on. Let me out. Sunflower? Holy shit. Sunflower, how did you get in here? You have a new earpiece. Here, hand it to me. And a camera. Perfect. Matthew? Oh, it's good to hear your voice. Back at you. Ready to get out of here? Not without the cure. Two steps ahead of you. I'll unlock some doors to the lab. Got your other present? Yeah. Is it on? On and broadcasting. Sunflower. Jesus, you're burning up. How did you get in here? I mean, yeah, I knew you were good at sneaking around, but who knew you were a spy level good? <laughs> yeah, well, you'll have to give me some lessons. Hey, keep it together. I know you're feeling bad, but we still gotta get out of here. Yes. You can... You can keep going. No, I'm not leaving here without you. I said no. We're getting out of here together. Easy. Easy. Just breathe. Okay? Okay. You stay here. I'm gonna go get the antidote, alright? I'll be right back. Eyes open. Look at me. You're gonna be fine. I promise... Hold on. She doesn't have much time left. I gave her another neutralizer. How long? A few hours, at most. Tell me you've got a way. Look down the side hall. Go left, four doors down, then turn right. On the computer, the code is 4586. I'm in. The vial you need is filled in cyan liquid. Got it. Good. You got us an exit? Working on it. I'm afraid I can't let you walk out with that. L. Just give up. You can't win this. I beg to differ. It's just you against this whole agency. 
You may be a great agent, but you won't be able to survive that. I don't need to survive to bring you down. What? Ever heard of a live stream? You. What did you do? Say hi, Al. You're being live streamed to every news station in the country. You fool. They'll kill you for this. Eh, they have to get in line. It's over, Al. I guess even you have a higher power to answer to. This isn't over. Hmm. Famous last words. Live stream's over. Good. I have to get this to them. You can take me in in just a few seconds. I need to give them this antidote. You can follow me. Just let me do this. Please. Hey. I'm back. See? Told you. Don't worry about them. Everything's fine, okay? Just let me give you this. Better? They need a hospital or something. Please. Sunflower? Listen. I have to go. But it's gonna be fine. Promise. Just rest. I'll see you soon. I promise. I love you, Sunflower. I always will. Welcome back to the land of the living. It's been a week. You really were out of it. I'm surprised you don't remember. Good news though, the toxin's out of your system. Doctors are calling it miraculous recovery. I don't. If I had any guesses, I would say he's being interrogated. A lot of rules were broken. Spilling government secrets is generally frowned upon. I wouldn't worry. I'm sure things will work out. After all, I was the one who went mad with power. Matthew will probably get a slap on the wrist compared to that. Don't worry, really. Hey, for what it's worth, you made a really good spy. Ever consider a career change? <laughs> okay, okay. I'll leave the rest to you. Visiting hours are about to end anyways. Anyone ever told you it's dangerous to leave windows open? Hey, Sunflower. Uh, this is nothing. You should see the other guy, though. How are you, Sunflower? You gave me... a hell of a scare. I told you. It's all good. Got demoted and reprimanded, but uh, took down a crazy person, so there's that. I'm more concerned about you, though. What did the doctor say? You sure? If you want a second opinion. Okay. Okay, Sunflower, all right. Look, uh... I just wanted to say goodbye. Yeah, I don't think we should be seeing each other anymore. What do you mean, why? You, you nearly died. I mean, you should be screaming at me, telling me that I nearly ruined your life or something. Of course I love you. It's because I love you that I'm doing this. I mean, I almost lost you. I was this close. And I can't. I can't see you like this. Like, again, like this again. You know what I am now. I can't hide it anymore. And for what it's worth, I'm sorry. Do you mean that? 
You keep saying you love me, even after all of this? After how you nearly died? Look, I can't. If I lost you, I don't know what I would do. Okay. You sure about this? Alright. We can give it another shot. <laughs> I'm just relieved. I didn't think... Well, you know what I thought. You can rest well, love. I know you're exhausted. I'll be here when you wake up. Yeah. Promise. Sleep well. Love. <laughs>